In this video, we will learn how to create and use congruent statements with congruent triangles. Let's start by drawing two congruent triangles. Now remember what the word congruent means. It means that all the measurements are the same. So all pairs of angles will be congruent as marked and all pairs of sides will be congruent. Now let's name these triangles. The triangle on the left is triangle ABC, and the triangle on the right is triangle DEF. Now a congruent statement is the way to write that two triangles are congruent using correct notation. So we know that these two triangles are congruent because they have all the same angles and all the same sides. So we can write a congruent statement and it will look like this. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. And remember, this is the symbol for congruent. Now it's important that you do this correctly, and to do it correctly, you have to make sure that the letters are in the same order in each case. So for example, I started with angle A for the triangle on the left. That angle is congruent to angle D in the triangle on the right, because they both have the one angle marking. So that means I had to start with angle A. If I started with angle A in my triangle ABC, I had to start with D in my triangle DEF. So the fact that A came first meant D had to come first. Then it keeps going the same way. So B matches with E. So since B came next here, E had to come next here. And similarly for C and F, they match. So they each had to come at the end, okay? So it would be wrong to say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle EFD. That's wrong because the letters don't match up. Okay? So anytime you make a congruent statement, you have to make sure that the letters match up so that the corresponding angles are in the right order. Now, what this means is that if I give you a congruent statement, for example, if I said triangle KED is congruent to triangle MRS, then you can know some things about those triangles. You know, in fact, six different things. You know that angle K has to be congruent to angle M because they match in the congruent statement. Similarly, angle E is congruent to angle R and angle D is congruent to angle S because those also match in the congruent statement. You also know something about the side lengths that are congruent. Side KE has to be congruent to side MR because those are the same letters like in the same order for in each part of the expression. We can also say that side ED is congruent to RS and that KD is congruent to MS. So basically you just have to make sure that all the letters match up and remember that if you're given a congruent statement that tells you information about the triangles and that the letters were given in a specific order to give you specific information.